content-based instruction. Content-based instruction is an approach to second language teaching in which teaching is organized around the content or information that students will acquire without separating it from the language itself. For example, simple experiments in physics, map drawing, or descriptions of historical events. St. Augustine was an early proponent of content-based language teaching. Content-based instruction draws on the principles of communicative language teaching from the 1980s. According to these principles, classrooms should focus on real communication and the exchange of information. This helps to ensure the link with reality and the pupils' own experience and provide us with the most certain means of teaching a language as communication. The role of content in other curriculum designs. Language across the curriculum was a proposal for native language education that grew out of recommendation of a British governmental commission in the mid-1970s. The report of the commission recommended a focus on reading and writing in all subject areas in the curriculum and not merely in the subject called language arts. Language skills should also be taught in the content subjects and not left exclusively for the English teacher to deal with. The need for collaboration between subject matter teachers and language teacher was emphasized. In some cases, curricular material was produced that integrated subject matter and language teaching goals. Immersion education is a program in which the regular school curriculum is taught through the medium of a foreign language. In this program, the foreign language is not the subject of instruction, but it is considered as a vehicle for content instruction. Immigrant on arrival programs typically focus on the language newly arrived immigrants in a country need for survival. In these programs, real world content is considered the basis for social survival. Programs for students with limited English proficiency are governmentally mandated programs to serve especially those children whose parents might be served by the on-arrival programs, but more generally designed to provide in-class or pull-out instruction for any school-aged children whose language competence is insufficient to participate fully in normal school instruction. Language for specific purposes is a movement that seeks to serve the language needs of learners who need language in order to carry out specific roles, for example, student, engineer, technician, nurse, and who does need to acquire content and real-world skills through the medium of a second language rather than master the language for its own sake. Approach. Content-based instruction is grounded on two central principles. One, people learn a second language more successfully when they use the language as a means of acquiring information rather than as an end in itself. Two, content-based instruction better reflects learners' needs for learning a second language. Many of these programs serve to prepare students for academic studies or for mainstream, therefore they need to be able to access the content as quickly as possible. Certain assumptions about the nature of language determine content-based instruction. Language is text and discourse-based. Content-based instruction sees language as a vehicle for learning content and centers on linguistic entities that account for how longer stretches of language are used and the linguistic features that create coherence and cohesion within speech events and text types. Language use draws on integrated skills. In a content-based class, students are involved in activities that link the skills, knowledge, language, and thinking skills. The topics selected provide coherence and continuity across skill areas and focus on the use of language in connected discourse. Language is purposeful. Language is used for specific purposes which give direction, shape, and meaning to discourse and texts. When learners focus on the purpose of the language, they become engaged in the process. In order to make content comprehensible to learners, teachers need to make the same kinds of adjustments and simplifications that native speakers make in communicating with second language learners. The discourse that results is called foreigner talk. Theory of learning. 
Content-based instruction is based on the underlying assumption that successful language learning occurs when students are presented with target language material in a meaningful contextualized form with the primary focus on acquiring information. Additional assumptions include the fact that people learn a second language most successfully when the information they are acquiring is perceived as interesting, useful, and leading to a desired goal. Other assumptions are the beliefs that some content areas are more useful as a basis for language learning than others, for example, geography and psychology, or that students learn best when instruction addresses students' needs, or that teaching builds on previous experience of the learners. The objectives in a content-based instruction course are the same objectives of the content course. Language learning objectives drive the selection of theme topics. Some of these may be to activate and develop existing English language skills, to acquire learning skills and strategies that could be applied in future language development opportunities, to develop general academic skills applicable to university studies in all subject areas, to broaden students' understanding of English-speaking people. The syllabus consists of a sequence of modules selected to reflect student interests and a multidisciplinary perspective. The modules are designed and sequenced so that they can relate to one another and create a cohesive transition of certain skills, vocabulary, structures and concepts. All modules begin with exercises aimed at developing comprehension and the student's ability to manipulate the language appropriate to the situation. The final activities require the students themselves to choose the language appropriate for the situation and use it in communicative interaction. Types of learning and teaching activities. Activities are classified according to their instructional focus. Language skills improvement, vocabulary building, discourse organization, communicative interaction, study skills, synthesis of content materials and grammar. Learner roles. One goal of content-based instruction is for learners to become autonomous so that they come to understand their own learning process and take charge of their own learning from the very start. In addition, most CBI courses anticipate that students will support each other in collaborative modes of learning. In addition, CBI is in the Learning by Doing School of Pedagogy. This assumes an active role by learners in several dimensions. For example, they are expected to be active interpreters, willing to tolerate uncertainty, and willing to explore alternative learning strategies. What is more, learners themselves may be sources of content and joint participants in the selection of topics and activities. The role of teachers. Teachers must be knowledgeable in the subject matter and able to elicit that knowledge from their students. They also need to keep context and comprehensibility foremost in their planning and presentations. Teachers also need to be able to select and adapt authentic material. They have to become student needs analysts and they have to create truly learned centered classrooms. The role of materials. Advocates of CBI recommend that a rich variety of materials be identified and used with the central concern being the notion that the materials are authentic, that is to say real-world materials like magazines in the target language. On the other hand, the material needs to be comprehensible to the learners, so the teachers have to adapt it for students to understand. So they might need to use linguistic simplification and redundancy. Courses at the university level. Theme-based language instruction. A language course in which the syllables is organized around themes or topics. Language analysis and practice evolved out of the topics that form the framework for the course. Sheltered content instruction. Content courses taught in the second language by a content area specialist to a group of ESL students. The instructor has to present the content in a way which is comprehensible to second language learners, using language and tasks at an appropriate level of difficulty. Adjunct language instruction. Students are enrolled in a content course and in a language course. 
with both courses sharing the same content base and complementing each other in terms of mutually coordinated assignments. Team Teach Approach a variation of the action approach in which the subject teacher and the language teacher work purposefully, regularly, and cooperatively to help students learn. Skills-based approach focuses on a specific academic skill area. Students write in a variety of forms to demonstrate understanding of the subject matter and to extend their knowledge to new areas. Courses at the elementary and secondary level theme-based approach. Students complete theme-based modules that are designed to facilitate their entry into regular subject areas classroom. These models focus on learning strategies, concepts, tasks, and skills that are needed in subject areas in the mainstream curriculum. Action approach. For example, an action course focusing on learning science through English. This would include understanding specialized science terminologies and concepts, report writing skills, grammar for science, and note-taking skills. Courses in private language institutes. A set of themes might be selected as the basis for semester's work in which the four skills and grammar are taught drawing on the central theme. This approach also provides the basis for many published ESL texts. Because CBI is based on a set of broad principles that can be applied in many different ways and is widely used as a basis for many different kinds of successful language programs, we can expect to see CBI continue as one of the leading curricular approaches in language teaching.